This video should always be used in conjunction with the written instructions provided. Release stowage straps, bringing round one end and attaching male to female. This will ensure the straps stay out of the way during the tower's use. Apply the brake to one caster so that you're able to move the end sections apart and simply lift off the stowed platform. Open end sections until red lock pin engages in yellow brace. Rotate the stabiliser leg from its stowage position into one of five available positions, chosen according to the teletower's location. Refer to the written instructions. Pull back on the red release button and rotate the stabiliser leg into position. Ensure the caster wheel is in an opposed position to all the others and lock it off with your foot. Also press down on the stabiliser bar and give a couple of twists on the adjuster where necessary to aid levelling. No release catch is necessary to lift the top two sections of the guardrail on either side. However, a yellow catch snaps into place to denote the full, locked out, safe position of each guardrail. Next, you will be unlocking and rotating the lengthways guardrails and locking them back into position on their opposite swivel mount support bars. Slide the lock catches forwards, raise and swivel. Rails are fully extended when ball catches engage. Swivel support bars 90 degrees to accept catch. This process needs to be repeated for four bars, at which point you are ready to begin raising the tower to your chosen level of height. Selection from one of the seven available platform heights must be made before fitting the platform. Each section raises freely and pops into position with a spring-loaded locking bolt, denoted with a red catch. Raise a maximum of two sections at any given end before changing ends. You are now ready to install the platform, securing it with the wind lock catches and the platform stabiliser bars. Fully unfold the platform to make it straight and ensure the hinge lock is secure. Lift the platform onto rung 3 which has the location guides. The saddle gates should be placed to the inside of the location guides. Attach the windlock catches at each end of the platform. These prevent lifting in gusting conditions. To pull back the yellow spring-loaded lock trigger, first depress the ball catch. Extend arms to one of the red, yellow or blue colour-coded positions. Ensure ball catches engage. Clip into corresponding colour-coded brackets. Repeat for all four legs. Always climb the tower from the inside. Give one firm push to the spring-loaded trapdoor to release. Continue to hold as you climb through. The final job before utilising the tower is to fit the tow boards. These are optional extras, but we do recommend their use when the tower is extended to the full platform height of 2 metres. When lowering the tower, you will release the spring-loaded red catches at either end of each rung, at which point the weight of the tower above needs to be supported. To avoid trapping your hand between the rungs, ensure that your hand is always at the side. Also, never release two red catches at the same time. For the two lower platform heights, there's a different approach to attaching the platform. Open one side of the tower a little. Engage the platform to the opposite side and while still supporting the platform, close the opposite side of the tower until the saddle plates are engaged. Then engage the guardrails. Finally, let's take a look at the seven finished tower heights. 33 centimetres, 61 centimetres, 1 metre, 1.25 metres, 1.5 metres, 1.75 metres, 2 metres.